Well, good evening and welcome. Let me ask you something. Are you feeling kind of burned out these days? You know, light is truly life. And we're going to talk about that for just a few minutes here. But before we do, let's bring the worship team up and let's have a time of worship together. Than I've ever been lifted before. Your love is lifting me higher than I've ever. Savior's love around 
Well, yesterday here at the farm, I spent a lot of time mowing. I have some grass in a baggie here that I picked up off the yard. But I spent a lot of time on the mower around the house and around the other buildings, something kind of like this. And after spending many hours mowing around the property, around the house, the next thing are the pastures. So I'm going to have to spend a lot of time like this. Now I show you these things to try to make a point. It wasn't more than a week or so ago that our grass didn't look this green and thick. As a matter of fact, we had a whole bunch of rain for a long period of time and then we went for weeks without any rain. And instead of the grass looking like this, nice and green and thick, it started to burn. It started to turn brown. It was almost depressing to drive into the property and see the grass all turning brown and not being nice and pretty and green. And then the other day, it rained. It rained for a couple of days. We got a real good soaking rain. And that's what started for me yesterday on all the mowers and the brush hogs cutting all of this grass and the pastures. Because the light came, the sun came after the rain and produced life. And as I was sitting on the mowers thinking about what I wanted to encourage you with tonight, I was reminded of a passage of Scripture. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to John 1. John 1, 4-5. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. And the light shines in the darkness, but the darkness could not overcome it. The darkness could not overcome it. The first thing we see in this passage of Scripture, which should encourage us in itself, is that the light shines in the darkness. Now, I remember taking a trip when the kids were little, and we went to a cave. And before we went down into this cave, everybody got a flashlight. And our tour guide took us down. There were actually steps carved in this cave. And we went down and we went down. And we got down to the place that he called the theater. And it was a big, open, very high ceilinged cave. And he had all of us stand still. And he told us all to turn off our flashlights. So one by one, everybody turned off their flashlights. And brothers and sisters, it was so dark, you couldn't even see your hand in front of your face. I have never experienced that kind of darkness. Even in our houses, there's always something, an alarm clock or a TV or computer screen. There's always some sort of light that gives you a little light to see to get around. This was pure darkness. And as we stood there for about 30 seconds, which seemed like an eternity, in this pure darkness, we heard his voice say, now watch this. And he took a match and he lit a birthday candle, literally one of those little bitty candles that you put on a birthday cake. And it was amazing how much light that little birthday candle gave off. We could actually see. Not really, really well, but we could see everybody's at least their outline. It's a reminder that no matter the darkness that you're facing right now, no matter what's ahead, no matter what's around the corner, no darkness, 
No darkness is too dark. If you allow the light of Jesus within you to shine. He never meant for you to carry any burdens on your shoulders. We talked about that last week in worrying. We worry ourselves to death. But Jesus is the light of the world for all mankind. And the next thing that we see in this passage of Scripture is that the darkness overcame it not. The darkness overcame it not. Or the darkness could not overcome the light. Down in that cave, it was so dark. Again, I've never experienced anything that dark. That little bitty birthday candle pierced through that light. And I'm reminded of the story I've told you at least a thousand times. Being up in the Pocono Mountains growing up as a kid, when we were out, no matter how dark it seemed, walking through the woods or walking around the property or walking down to where we'd have a bonfire at night to roast our marshmallows and stuff, my grandfather's light would pierce through any darkness. Any darkness. Even the darkest of nights growing up. I knew that when my grandfather turned on that flashlight, the darkness would disappear. Whatever darkness you're walking through right now, or whatever darkness you feel you will be walking through, it cannot overcome the light of the world. It cannot overcome our Savior's light. He can pierce through any darkness. And lastly, Jesus is the true light. Jesus is the true light. Whatever you're facing, we don't worry. We don't worry about things because we know God's in control. And we know in our heart of hearts that God is in control. But to get our minds to listen to our hearts, our minds want us to worry. Our minds want us to stress. But that still small voice says, my child, don't worry, I have this. Like I shared with you in the Bible that my grandparents gave me when I was a born-again Christian at 10 years old. In that Bible, they wrote, Huck, my nickname, fear not tomorrow, for God is already there. God had things worked out before the foundation of the world, before you were even thought about, before your parents or your grandparents or your great-grandparents or your great-great-grandparents, you get the idea, before any of them came to be, God had things planned and worked out for the darkness that you're facing right now. And just as that light, my grandfather's light, would pierce through any darkness growing up as a kid, the one thing that we realized is that it made it safe to make your next step, but not beyond that. God doesn't want you to be worried about tomorrow or next week or next year. He wants you to live in the moment. Enjoy the day that God has made and be blessed in the things that he has set aside for you today. One, two, three... It's my eyes. Always then I realize that another day of life is just me by. Life's a vapor.
pray. Heavenly Father, we know that your Son is the light of our lives. We know it in our heart of hearts. Sometimes it's hard to get through our minds. And Father, help us to realize that no matter what darkness we walk through, we walk with you hand in hand together. Help us to remember and realize that you have it planned. You have the answers to any darkness we face and your light will pierce through anything. Father, we love you and we praise you and we give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let's remember that His light brings life and answers to everything. Fear not tomorrow, for God is already there. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you here again next week. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you soon.